than by then because we're here at the Cathedral of X Trial, the Palau San Jordi in the heart of Barcelona, which plays host to the 45th edition of the longest running competition in indoor trials. It's been held here without fail for the last 31 years since 1991. Before that, it was held at the Palacio de Deportes. Here we are then, your three finalists, Tony Bow, Adam Raga, and Matteo Gratarola. The format a little bit different for the final. They will do all six sections. They will get one minute per section. Section one will be there and back. They'll start there. And we'll start there in reverse order in terms of the standing. So Matteo Gratarola will go first, followed by Adam Raga and then Tony Bo. They'll move on to section two, where it'll be contested in reverse order, depending on the results of the previous section. If you're not understood, don't worry, all will become very, very clear. One minute per section. Section has failed, should they run out of time? However, the clock will keep running, should there be a tie. Also receive five points should they fall or should they accumulate three or more points. Here we go then. There and back in section one. Matteo Gratarulla will lead us into the final. Points are reset, don't forget. They will accumulate now for all six sections. winner at the end of the night will take the championship points Matteo Gratarola then begins one minute on the clock to get through section one it's not going to be easy at all but they know that that's why they're here if it were easy they want to be doing it one minute begins now then for Matteo Gretarola. Now we saw this direction catch a lot of riders out before. Be a point for the lean going over the apex of that block. It was here. Only previously Tony Bo was able to get through. Let's see how Gretarola fares on his second attempt. That'll be five points for the Italian in section one. Let's see how Adam Braga fares. TRS rider. Shooting for his fourth podium of the season. It's 40, his 39th win overall it'll be if he can usurp Tony Boo here tonight. But as I said before, Tony Boo was the only rider previously capable of clearing this section in this direction. He's through in good time. Ten seconds down. One point against him. Tony Boo watching on. Tony Bo helps him down with his bike. Five points for Adam Raga in section one as well. The last time he was out of the top three was in 2001. In the very first round of the season when he was a wild card. Absolutely incredible. Incredible effort, it's 141 appearances. Clear 
bit of a section now. Tony Boat. There he is. The only man to have cleared this section in this direction previously. He did so. Some ten minutes ago in the second round. Here at the Palau San Jordi. Can he do it again now to put himself way ahead? Final round four of the X Trial World Championship. Here we go then. 15 time world champion, your reigning world champion, Tony Bow, to tease up to take on section one for the third time tonight, the second time in this direction. One minute to do so. There and back. It's going to be a tough call. Guys are here to push the limits of what is possible. Human and bike, one point already. Tony Boat. Oh, I'm not sure his base plate touched there. The FIM observer says no. He's still got just the one finger in the air. Right, here we go. Tony Boat is up and over. Two points, and he's through. Three points ahead. As things stand now in the final, he's got to go back, of course. 30 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to get a move on if he's going to do it. There are no blocks that are marked for needing to be touched. He got through this section. Well, one point so far on the return trip. He's through. Tony Vaux gets through section one relatively unscathed to go ahead. Just the one point marked for section one. He's four points clear then. In first place is Tony Boo. Adam Racker will stand second as we have to tie break with the previous results. And Greta Rulla will lead us into section two here. This long section. One minute to get through it in one direction not ridden it in this direction before tonight. In round one, we were riding it from right to left. This time we're riding it from left to right as we're looking at it. You can see a yellow stick on that big red block there. That means you have to touch that on the way through. Matteo Gratarola then, the Italian 40-year-old. 34-year-old, apologies. Matteo giving you an extra six years. Third full season in the championship. Plenty of years ahead of him. Currently, he stands third with 27 points. Could be adding a good amount of points here tonight. In the final, one penalty point there then for footing. Uses that foot to center himself on that big red block. He needs to get down now. No, not possible for the Italian. He fails to complete the section, and that'll be another five points to his name, ten in total. Well, during the visit this morning, and I'm sure it was all mind games, Tony Bow stood at the top. That white block there, and he said, it's not a hard, not a hard course here in Barcelona today. Mind games, certainly, as uh, this course today has proven to be very challenging indeed. Adam Ragger then steps up. The second to ride section two in the final here in Barcelona, the fourth round of the X Trial World Champion ship Adam Ragger caused upset here in 2019 as the only person to beat Tony Bow in 11 years can he do it again tonight this section is proving to be very difficult indeed in this direction 
Adam Braga also taking the fiasco. Standing level with Matteo Grattarola, 10 points apiece. Is that a look of worry on Tony Bo's face then? I'm not sure Tony Bo knows worry. Certainly once he fires up that. Repsol Montesa Honda machine. He just takes a good look at what he's got to do here. I think it's the angle of that red block. From our commentary position, it looks it looks like it's just kind of a slight left turn from the white block. But then you see it on your screen, and it looks like a whole different story. Currently, Tony Blow, just one point to his name. And they want to maintain that lead in the final. Section two of six in this final round. Adam Braga and Matteo Gratarola have failed to clear it. Tony Bo. Nicely done. Into the top of that pyramid of concrete blocks. Now, what is this? This is a different approach. And that's why he's world champion, I suppose. He'll take the point for leaning. The base plate made clear contact with that concrete block. That was superbly done. 25 seconds remain to get through this long section two. Doubtful he's gonna get through it in time, but he's up onto the white block. Bit of help from his feet. That's a fall. Tony Bo also fails to clear it. He was so close and he knows it though. Frustration there for the reigning champion. That's an interesting spot opposite one of the windows here at the Palau San Jordi. They can watch the uh, spectacle going on. They're also watching the sunset here over the Olympic ring through the windows of the Palau San Jordi. It is an absolutely spectacular venue for such an event. As things stand then, Tony Bow in first place with six points, Adam Raga four points, and Gratarola behind in second and third in the finals of the fourth round of the X-Trial FIM World Championship. Now, these riders are yet to ride this rock section in this direction. They've ridden it once in the previous direction, the opposite direction in the previous round. That's one foot down, one point for Matteo Gratarola. Don't forget, Tony Booth failed to clear this section in round two. For redemption now in the final in the opposite direction. Mateo Gratarola so far so good. 26 seconds remain to complete this rock section. Now this is a big jump here. He knows it and he's through. He's clear with three points to spare. Is Matteo Gratarola. He wipes his brow. Three points, he'll take that. 13 in total. No section tonight has proven to be easy. Looks like he's disputing one of the points with the FIM observer. I thought it was two from where I am, but. FIM Observer is there and up close and personal. Three points for section three for Matteo Gratarola. 13 in total. Adam Raga steps up now. Ten points to his name. Four points adrift to Tony Bo here in the final. Heading into section three. I think we may see some drama here yet. Raga then. Ten 
perhaps a moment to just calm himself heading into this rock section. These rocks are loose. They've not been in this direction yet. You can see the movement of those rocks there. Almost lost his balance. It's just to stay level. There's the Catalan. Perfect, says his mind. That's Tony Bowie is getting a real good look at this. Don't forget, he failed to clear this section in round two. 30 seconds remain for Adam Ragger. So far, no points. Section three, unscathed, no points for Adam Braga. He maintains second position. Three points clear of Matteo Gratarola. Tony Bow can only afford to give up four points here now if he's to maintain first position. Things are getting very, very tense here in Barcelona. I've got a surprise for you. Section four is not going to be easy at all. But let's get through section three first, shall we? Tony Boo fires up that Montessa machine. His 98th appearance. Winning 72 of those. Podiums in 85. Winning 13 of the last 15 X trials to be held here. Beaten only by the man we just saw clear this section. With no points, Adam Raga. What can Tony Bo here do here today? Failed to clear this section in round two. He's fallen. And that's drama. Because Adam Raga steps up to first place. Tony Blue has 11 points. And that's real drama here at the Palau San Jordi. Wow. We have a competition on our hands here tonight. I've got to tell you, this block section, section four, we saw these riders clear it going from left to right tonight. Only Tony Bowie was able to do it from right to left. Now, in the final, they've got to go there and back. Well, the look on Matteo Grotto's face says it all, I think. One minute to do so. Not made it easy at all. Here we go then. One minute on the clock. Matteo Gratarola has got a real challenge here on his hands. He needs to recover two points on Tony Bo. It's a good start. that green ramp this time it's not the case this time is of the essence 35 seconds remain then and Tony Bo was the only rider to overcome this obstacle in this direction in round two nicely done nicely done indeed by Matteo Gretarola he takes two points one for leaning one for footing 20 seconds on the clock can he get through section four having accrued just two points 10 seconds to go, he's up onto this green buck. Well, he didn't do it cleanly and he'll take the five points. That's a real shame because he got back onto that obstacle really, really well. Could have completed that course, possibly within time. Had he completed it outside the time, it would have been better than a fall. Tony Bo up second then, because the running order goes from the previous section, where he finished in second place. Teo Gratarola now seven points behind Tony Bo. In a 
firm third place, Tony Bow. One point behind Adam Raga. He knows what he needs to do here. He's likely feeling confident going into this as he did very well in round one and two on this section. One minute on the clock. Here he goes, Tony Bow. One point there. The base plate caught the apex of that concrete block. Shaky is the 15 time world champion. It's through here quickly and cleanly, though. Final obstacle. Right, 35 seconds to get back there now, Tony. Come on. Have you got it in you? 30 seconds. He was the only rider in round two to get over this obstacle. We just saw Mateo Gratarola do it very, very well. Tony Bow is through. Right. This is where Gratarola fell. Tony Bow clears it. 13 seconds remain to clear this section. So far, just the one point. He does it. One point for Tony Bow. He falls on the disc man, but he was already through the section. You can just see what this means. You can hear it, the fans. That was very, very important indeed for the 35-year-old Tony Bo. One point in section four, there and back with just a second to spare. 12 points in total in this final. Six points adrift of Matteo Gratarola. Adam Raga needs to get through this. We're gaining just two points. in his hands to do it, balls in his court, but this is not going to be easy at all. He wasn't able to get through this section in the opposite direction in round two. However, we've seen twice, through three times in fact, Tony Bo's done it twice now, how to do it. What can Adam Raga do now here? 10 points so far in the final. Two points adrift of Tony Boat. We've got real drama on our hands. One minute then. He's through that first section cleanly. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. He's through this very, very quickly. Quicker than both Gratarola and Boat. Seconds to clear from left to right. 30 seconds now then to get through from right to left. This obstacle will be looming heavy in his mind. And that's a fall. Well, he falls to second place. Three points behind Tony Boo. This is going to be very, very tight indeed. Two sections remain here at the Palau San Jordi. They have to clear this section from left to right and right to left there and back. No, that's not easy. Matteo Gratarola will lead us into section five, the metal section here, donned in La Vanguardia. And Mundo Deportivo colors. Italian. Well, all to play for, but well, he's three points adrift, of, three points behind Adam Ragger. He could scalpage something here. This is a very, very difficult section in both directions. This course caught, caught out a lot of riders in rounds one and two. Nicely done. Nicely done. This is that tall cylinder which caught out a lot of riders in round one. Here we go. Adam Ragger is through and clear. Nicely done. 25 seconds remain then to do the return trip to clear this section. Up he goes. He's through. One point there for leaning. 10 seconds remain. Still a lot of this section left to do. Two points, leaning once again. Five 
five points for Matteo Gratarola, who fails to complete section five. 23 points in total in the final of this fourth round of the championship. play for now for Adam Braga he needs to salvage everything he can three points behind Tony Boo he knows that Tony is strong in this section we've seen it both ways in both rounds one and two what can Adam Braga do here to keep his hopes of winning this round alive and to keep the championship very much alive at the halfway point in this season. Adam Raga then up and over that drum. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the tricky bit on the return trip because look how low it is. Getting over that middle section within the time, it's, it's just near on impossible, but impossible is what these guys do best. Up and over then. 30 seconds to do the return trip have to push it really, really hard. Adam Ranga. The return of section five. It may well be time that tie breaks this section. The riders involved. It's a foot down, one penalty. 1.8 seconds remain, putting it up and over this, he can. He's gonna clear it, he is. He's cleared it with three seconds to spare. Adam Ranga, just the one point. In section five, that is impressively done. Tony Boo then needs to get through it with only dropping four points. If he's to retain the lead. We've seen all three of these riders very, very strong in section six. That was an impressive ride by Adam Raga to clear section five. Just the one point. Tony Bo then, section five of six, one minute on the clock. We've seen him strong here in both directions, but now he has to do it there and back. Just four points separate him and Adam Raga right now. That's all he can afford to lose. Fiasco would put him in second place. He's up and over the drum. done with good speed good rhythm this final exit obstacle caught out a lot of riders in round one Tony Bo up and over a couple of seconds over Adam Raga back in 29 seconds to go that's nicely done by the world champion Get over 14 seconds, he's done it well, he's going to clear it. Tony Bo clears it with zero points, retaining his lead. And he goes into the final section with four point breathing space. We've seen all three of these riders very, very strong in the final section. And if memory serves, it's freestyle this time around. They can choose the route which suits them best. I'm mistaken. You see those yellow stickers there with the big S. That means final round. And they have to hit both of those middle blocks. Here we go then. The sixth and final section in the final of the fourth round of the 2022 X-Trial FIM World Championship. Halfway point of the season. Matteo Gratarola leads us into this final section. Statistically now, he 
has to concede third place. This will be Matteo Gratarola's first podium here in Barcelona. Previous results, eighth and sixth. He can be very, very pleased with his efforts today. All part of his ever increasing results in the World Championship. He needs to get this left hand block now. The one that his mind has just stepped onto. Ten seconds remain. He's losing his footing here, Matteo Gratorola. He clears it. That was very nervy indeed there at the end. One point for the leaning over that final hurdle. Way for the crowd here at the Palau San Jordi. Very, very well done by the Italian. Very, very good effort by him here. What was a challenging course. And like I say, that all counts as part of his ever increasing efforts in the World Championship. He finished fifth last year. Here we go then. Adam Raga gets us going. Adam Raga, obligata Peseru. 45 seconds remain. It's up halfway through this section now. 30 seconds to go. Mind that says, stay calm. 30 seconds. Adam Braga can't afford to lose any points here. He's just four points behind Tony Boe. Be disaster for the reigning world champion to fail this section, but never say never. But first, Adam Raga needs to get through it. Ten seconds remain. The final hurdle, and he clears it with style up into the grandstand here at the Palau San Jordi. Zero points in the sixth section. Sixteen points in total. Puts him second in the standings. It's Tony Bowes now to lose. Here we go then. Final run of the night. Tony Bow takes to section six. Six of the six here at the Palau San Jordi in the fourth round of the X-Trial 2022 World Championship. If he takes three or less points, he will have won both rounds and the final for 27 points, including the two bonus points, extending his lead over the World Championship. Adam Rago will be very happy to take his second place. He brought it to Tony Bo here in the final. 30 seconds remain. Ooh, a little stumble there by the reigning World Champion. 20 seconds then to cross this final hurdle and take the victory here in Barcelona. And he does so. It's a victory for Tony Bo at the Palau San Jordi. Tony Bo takes his fourth gold of the season. He celebrates there in the grandstand with the fans. A hard contested final with his closest rival, Adam Ragger. But Tony Bo 
makes it 73 wins in 98 appearances. Winning both rounds one and two and taking the final as well. Triumphing 15 times at the Palau San Jordi. Winning 14 of the last 16 X trial stage here. Tony Bo furthers his grasp on the X trial World Championship for 2022. A lap of honor of the Palau San Jordi. This is what the fans turned out to see. <laughs> what a run by the home hero. He shuts off his bike. What a victory here in Barcelona by the reigning world champion. Valiant, valiant effort. We're going to hear from him in just a moment's time. Here he is then, your winner in Barcelona. Let's hear from Tony Bo. Tony Bo, first victory in a row and feeling the warmth of the home fans. Yeah, it's amazing to win in Barcelona. Always is very special. But one in the last section is incredible. I think my riding today is nice. Uh, the feeling is so good. Only have the mistakes in the rock section and the three and the second in the, the second round. But I'm very happy. Thanks to the team because uh, start the season with uh, four victories in a row is incredible. Congratulations. Four victories in a row indeed. Tony Bo furthers his hold over the world championship after an absolutely astonishing night. Let's take a look at the final standings then. Tony Bo, 12 points, is your winner here in Barcelona. Adam Raga settles for second place, just four points adrift. It did go down to that last section. And Matteo Gratarola with 24 points. Rounds out your top three here in Barcelona. Wow, what a treat here at the Palau San Jordi. Let's take a look at the overall standings here for Barcelona. Then Tony Bo, Adam Raga and Matteo Gratrola are your podium winners. Jaime Busto and Benoit Bincaz round out the top five. Sondre Haga put in a valiant effort to take sixth place. Gabriel Marcelli, absolute heartbreak for him in seventh place. And Toby Martin, disaster of a round one, finishing dead last. We head down then to the podium for the prize giving ceremony after an absolute spectacle put on tonight. Tony Bow and Adam Raga just showing how tight this competition is, taking it down to the wire. Here's the world championship classification then. Tony Bow remains in first place, 30 points clear of Adam Raga, who stands in second. Matteo Gratarola on a very, very strong season, 39 points. Eight points clear of Jaime Busto. Gabriel Marcelli in fifth, tied with Toby Martin, who had an absolute disaster today. Benoit Bincaz in seventh, Sondre Haga in eighth, and Mikel Herbert ninth was Teo Callaro. Runs out the top 10. Well, 30 points clear at the midway point in the season. Two rounds remain as X-Trial will head to Andorra on October 8th. But for now, it's time to celebrate a hard-fought victory by Tony Bo, and a just as hard-fought point. Third place for this man, Matteo Gratarola. A valiant, valiant effort, picking up just, well, 24 points in the final. A very, very good effort indeed. Adam Raga, second place, and here is your Winner of the fourth round of the X Trial FIM World Championship, Tony Bo. His 
73rd win in 98 appearances. That is some tally indeed. Adam Ragger takes his 121st podium in 141 appearances. The second podium in his career for Matteo Grotorola to this season. He is on one of the best seasons of his career is the Italian. If not the best season of his career. Second place then, Adam Ragger. 121 podiums for the Spaniard, 40 years old. And here is your X-Trial Barcelona winner, Tony Bo, his 73rd win. As he extends his reach over the World Championship to 30 points. It's almost a done deal here, the midway point in the season. But there are your three winners. Now we'll hear the national anthem of Spain. But first, time to shake the cover. What a victory here for Tony Bowe, taking it down to the last section with Adam Raga. Very hard fought indeed, and Matteo Gratarola should just be absolutely made up with that. He started this season with career best, fifth place. He now has two podiums to his name, and sits 30th, uh, sits third, sorry, in the World Championship with 39 points, eight points adrift. Let's take a look at some of the top moments from tonight. Wasn't to be for Gabriel Marcelli, absolute heartbreak. 